Hello and welcome to PlayStation Access where we have been gorging ourselves on details about one of the biggest games coming to PS4 this year, Red Dead Redemption 2. With Rockstar's ambitious western epic just a few weeks from release, now seems like a good time to go over a random but hype inducing list of things we definitely know about Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the first Rockstar game that's been designed and built from the outset for PS4. Imagine what that means for the technology driving the game and for how good the game will look, or you know, just re-watch the trailers and see for yourself. Number 2. The game is set in 1899, a prequel to the John Marston starring PS3 game but still dealing with the same themes of the disappearing outlaw west. Number 3. Quite simply, this is the largest world Rockstar has ever made, and when you think about how long it takes to fly over the map in GTA 5 in a plane, and the fact that planes weren't invented in 1899, that means really pretty big. Number 4. It's not all about size though, Rockstar has worked hard to make sure that even though this is the biggest world the studio has ever made, it's also full of distinctive areas and places with their own personality. Bright meadowed mountains, wet swamps and deep wintry snow show up in the game's trailers, a beautiful kaleidoscope of environments we can't wait to explore and get lost in. Number 5. You'll be playing as Arthur Morgan, a member of Dutch van der Linde's gang. He's Dutch's second in command and has been with the gang leader for much of his life. Number 6. Rockstar describes the gang as like a living family, one you can spend a lot of time with. Various gang members will appear in camp, interacting with you and each other, playing music, drinking and laughing, and even taking turns as lookout. Number 7. You can affect the gang's morale by contributing food from hunting or loot from robberies to the collective pile. As the gang's morale grows, the mood in the camp changes, gang members are happier and stay up later into the night drinking and talking and playing poker. 8. The game's story is still largely a mystery, but as things start, the gang is on the run after a heist gone wrong. Number 9. Naturally, Arthur is very handy with a revolver, but you can also defuse potentially dangerous combat situations before they kick off, and even throw passing strangers a compliment. It's nice to be nice. Number 10. When words just won't cut it and you need to pull out your pistol, however, you'll enjoy a deep, grounded combat system that seamlessly fuses melee and gunplay, and also features realistic reload times and responsive animations. Number 11. Arthur's character is largely dependent on how you choose to play. You can be honourable and help people out, or if you prefer, not so honourable and make yourself a few extra enemies. 12. In addition to shooting things with guns, Arthur can also hunt with a bow. This is not only better for staying stealthy, but also better for hunting. Food in better condition, i.e. not riddled with bullets, is more valuable to the camp or to butchers if you sell it on. 13. With animals successfully hunted, Arthur can attach the bodies to his saddle to bring them back to camp. Again, this being a living world, if you leave the carcasses strung on the saddle for too long, they will start to rot and attract flies. 14. In fact, dead bodies left on the ground act in a similar way and will eventually attract scavengers like vultures or coyotes. Number 15. As well as hunted game, your horse now carries a lot of your gear. It's more than just a mode of transportation, it'll carry a lot of your belongings, so it's important to look after your horse and keep it nearby. Number 16. Arthur's horse has a very important role, in fact, You'll develop a strong connection with your loyal steed, one which is made deeper by feeding it when it's hungry and calming it during stressful situations, the result being your horse will be more trusting and less likely to panic during the various scrapes and scenarios Arthur will encounter. 
Number 17, there are different horse breeds available in the game, which will come with distinct traits and personality types. 18, in fact, there's such a huge variety of wildlife in general, with livestock, different species of deer, crocodiles, pumas, and boar, to name just a few. Number 19, the game has a fluid, contextual conversation system for all interactions. A discreet HUD will display different options depending on the situation, with options emerging and disappearing as the situation develops. They can be as simple as antagonize, diffuse or rob when you encounter a stranger in the wild, or praise or scold when you meet a dog, and the system is the same for more sophisticated conversations too. Number 20, speaking of the game's HUD, everything is designed to be non-intrusive, helping to showcase the game's natural surroundings. And if you prefer, it can also be turned off altogether. Number 21, Deadeye, the slow motion target tagging mechanic that gave the first Red Dead Redemption so many dynamic cinematic moments is back. And that's just about everything we know for sure about Red Dead Redemption 2 so far. We'll have more on the game very soon in the build-up to release. Tell us in the comments what has you hyped about the game. Don't forget to hit that bell if you want to be part of the notification gang. And subscribe if you haven't yet for more like this.